you know, wonderful night tonight. It was, uh, it was great to be back in uh, Atlantic City at the Ocean Casino Resort, world-class resort. And um, I think what we saw tonight was truly remarkable. We want to first and foremost thank our, our uh, partners in ESPN. We were broadcast around the world tonight in over 160 countries. As you could see, the production was unbelievable. Um, you know, uh, the use of SmartCade's technology, incredible. And what I think is so unique about uh, the Professionals Fighters League is regular season, playoff, championship. You win in advance, you lose and you go home. And we had three athletes that never lost uh, in years lose tonight. We had two champions lose um, to unbelievable athletes and, and Bubba Jenkins and, of course, uh, Clay Collard pull, pulled off a, an amazing win tonight. And then we had Marcin with, with a very big upset. But what's great about the Professional Fighters League is now it's time for the fighters that lost, their backs against the wall, they have an opportunity to advance and win. And that's what's great about the, the league system, the league format. Um, but I believe the Professional Fighters League has the best fighters in the world. I don't pay attention to those rankings by any means. We have the best fighters in the world. Bubba Jenkins' credentials, absolutely incredible. As, as a wrestler, as a fighter, Clay Collard, his uh, 2020 in boxing was amazing. And uh, we saw his hands tonight, tremendous. Uh, Marcin, not many people you know, knew he was going to come explosive as, as he was. And uh, it, it was really special to watch him tonight. And then, of course, we had Brendan with that amazing knockout, the people's champion. I've never seen so much buzz around an individual um, athlete like Brendan. And uh, he showed up and he delivered. And uh, that's why we have the greatest fighters in the world, fighters from 22 countries around the world. And again, we were broadcast in over 160 countries tonight. It was truly a remarkable night. and We're just getting started. So with that, we're more than happy to take questions. First question for Bubba. First off, great night of fights tonight for everyone. Thank you. How are you feeling post-fight? And do you see a rematch between you and Lance down the line? Well, I'm feeling like I look. And if you don't say I look the way I feel, you're a lie, because I'm feeling good, looking good. Um, yeah, man, I really do have some really, really smart people in my corner, really smart people behind me. Dewey and I talked about this situation, you know, him being a two-time champion and such a formidable opponent, such a great athlete um, for the last five or six years associated with, the, with these people and associated with this organization. Uh, we figured after we took this dub, he was going to come back and, you know, probably see him later in the round. We knew that, not later in the round, but later in, in, in the tournament, we knew that after we get the dub, he, he's going to have some people come back for him. That's where we are. Thank you. For Brendan. What's your, uh, what's your message for UK fight fans after such an impressive performance? Hey, I am the only one to finish anybody <laughs> tonight. Hey, I am the only one to finish anybody. What does that tell you? I came out here tonight, I fought a world-class UFC veteran who's fought Marlon Moraes, who's fought Zabit, who's fought Sadiq Youssef. And I went out there and just dismantled him and just put him away first round. I told you, I'm not a joke. I'm here to stay. I'm here to win this whole tournament. I'm not messing around. That's the truth. You know, and to that point is that what, what Brennan is referring to as well is he was awarded six points tonight. He's, he's the man to be in this division now, six points. The rest of the points that were allocated were three points for the winners, uh, for, for everybody that won tonight, and zero points for everybody else. So, you know, the opportunities are still there for those fighters that lost to advance. Um, and get to the playoffs, but um, their back's against the wall. Basically, what he's saying is, I'm the champ. I know <laughs> Bubba's the over there. Beat. I know Bubba, I know Bubba's <laughs> over there talking. Man, we, we've had some good banter in the back. We've end. had good banter, but yeah. listen, I'm at the top of the leaderboard, and I'm going to win this I'll, shit. I'll let him have his night, because it's a celebration for us all, <laughs> and he definitely has the upper hand. So it's literally, literally men lie, women lie, numbers don't Let's lie. So go! Right now, right now, he got six points, but I, I need a better dancer to get my thing going, baby. I need a better dancer to dance with me, because I was looking for that, that, that K. <laughs> I was looking for that KO. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question is for Bubba from Harry Mack. You see how I'm holding court. Let's, Let's go. go. Next question. 
Two questions to your zero. Let's get it. <laughs> there was a lot of talk about you being three and one in your college re wrestling career against Lance leading up to the fight. Uh -huh. How does it feel to still have the, uh, the number of a guy who has been so dominant over his 11 fight win streak you just snapped? Man, it feels good. It's, it's expected. Don't, don't have me out here looking cocky. It feels great. I'm, I'm humbled that I, I beat him, but y'all heard the way I was talking. Y'all saw how I came in here. Y'all felt that energy. Y'all know my vibe. Y'all know what we are. It's the beginning. From Jay Anderson, Marcin, do you anticipate that kind of striking battle with Nathan? And what was something that you focused on in training ahead of the fight? Hello. Uh, it was the best training, uh, training camp. Uh, I, yeah, I did everything good. Uh, maybe the plan was a little bit different. I expected to take him down and uh, do more on a gun, but uh, it wasn't so easy. So I had to fight uh, in a standing. And uh, like I said, a lot of times I, I'm not only a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and grappling fighter, I'm complete MMA fighters. I can fight uh, in standing on, on the ground and everywhere I feel good in uh, everywhere. So. In the next time, I can. You, you, you will see. You, 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 you can't expect that I will. I will only go to the ground and I will try to finish final ground. I, I, I can. Uh, I can punch. I can win in a stri uh, striking. I can win on a ground. I'm complete MMA fighter, and I hope I. I show it that in one of the best uh, fighter uh, in this division here in PFF. Next question is from Carlos, uh, Drippy Podcast, for Clay. What was it like being in the cage with the former UFC champ from Drippy Podcast? Uh, real quick, I didn't get a, uh, my post-fight interview, and I just want to say congratulations to my older brother. Uh, he's got a little, little newborn baby on the way, so shout out to him. Uh, being in there with Anthony Pettis is, I mean, it's a dream come true. You know, those are the, those are the kind of guys we've been chasing since we started this, right? He's a strike force champion, uh, UFC champion. Um, so it's just, it's a dream come true. And to get a win over a guy like that, I think says a lot in this division. Uh, I think it, it, it made a statement and, and that's what I came here to do is make a statement and let everybody know, you know, this is my coming out party. I'm ready to fight. Question from Global Fight, fight Talk, Lauren. How much of a star can you see Bubba Jenkins becoming with such a dominant performance to kick off the 2021 20, mm, season with his charisma and credentials? Well, I'm definitely not going to say anything bad because he's right next <laughs> to me here. But I'll say, uh, you know, coming into this this fight, uh, I knew his credentials well. I knew his his ability in wrestling is is unmatched, and he's beat some of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Um, he trains with the great Dewey Cooper. For those that don't know, one of, one of the great trainers. Uh, in Las Vegas and, and around the world, came in shape, um, you know, and he looked, he looked incredible. I think he is a star. I think it's just a start. And, um, you know, we're, I'm looking forward to see him in the, in the next fight. And, uh, you know, I believe he's, he's one of the guys that um, most people are betting on to, to win the championship in that million dollar prize. World-class athlete, carries himself well. Hold and, up. Uh, let's hear from Brad in here. <laughs> Hold <laughs> Hey, who's got the six point? <laughs> Who's the six pointer over here? Not, not you, Bubba, bro. I'm looking at the six pointer though. Hey, there's the six pointer. From Chris D. Santiago, Bubba, have you got that orange soda and Big Mac yet? No, I, I, did, I didn't get my Big Mac. Shout out to Mickey D's. Y'all can holler at me after this. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm looking for that, for that Big Mac and that orange soda. Uh, and the check, orange please. Soda. You know I like that orange soda. <laughs> Come on. What brother don't like that orange soda? You know what I'm saying? But I like that purple stuff. From Ronald E. Smith. Clay, a great man once said, I told you eat your words. Do you feel you showed the critics that you are someone to watch out for? Uh, 100%, I, you know? Um, people have been doubting me since I stayed, doubted me going over to boxing. They doubted me in MMA, you know? Um, Quit doubt me because I'm, I'm bringing it every single time and I come to fight every single time and I think I'm the most entertaining fighter here, period, so. Next question is from MMA Island. Lauren, 
Congrats on a great event. Obviously, the PFL has had great fighters in the past two seasons, but what has attracted top stars and world champions such as Verdum, Pettis, Shields, and McDonald to the Professional Fighters League? Well, I, th I think ultimately the, the best want to fight the best, and, and in the PFL we have the best fighters, the best rosters, but in addition to that, we're a fighter-first organization. We're not here to make matches. It's, it's a meritocracy. It's up to the fighter. If they win, they advance. If they lose, they go home. And every fight matters. And, you know, so an athlete wants to be associated with that. Our prize purse is the best. You win the division, it's a million dollar prize. There's nothing like it in the sport. And on top of that, our fighters know when they're going to fight next. So it's, it's not, not waiting for that phone call. They know when our season takes place, our regular season playoff and championship. So I think all of those factors combined are tr attracting, uh, you know, the best fighters out there. And then in addition to that, you're live on. ESPN in North America, over 160 countries around the world. Uh, that's a huge broadcast and a, and a huge reach to be associated with. So I think those are the factors involved. With the PFL roster having fighters from 22 different countries, when do you think we'll see a PFL event outside the US? I, I think the PFL is working on it um, right now. You know, uh, the, the league format is an international format. The mainstream audience understands it. Um, it transcends boundaries. Uh, like the NBA, and um, you know, I just think it's a matter of time, and it could be as soon as the championship. So, you know, we have we have fighters from 22 countries around the world. Poland's represented tonight, of course. Uh, our great Dagestani fighter from Russia, um, you know, our our friend from from England, etc. So we have 22 fighters from around the world, a global roster, and and I know the demand for our product on an international level is tremendous. So sooner rather than later. Movlid. Congrats on keeping your undefeated record. You were not able to finish Lazar tonight. Could you tell us what was your game plan and were you able to execute it? Go ahead and shout it out. You were not able to finish Lazar tonight. Could you tell us what your game plan and what your game plan was and were you able to execute it? Как бы все знаем, соперника поменяли, с кем должен был, с кем должен был драться, его не допустили по медицинским там проверкам, поэтому готовился на правой стороне, бойца стойки, Лазар левосторонний, поэтому шел счет поменять работу, ну, вставленный план. Uh, well, <clears throat> as we all know, you know, that was a last minute replacement fighter. You know, I supposed to fight with a right hand fighter and uh, Lazar is a uh, left hand uh, unorthodox uh, boxer. So I just, you know, I had to change my plan, you know, and play the safe uh, fight over here. So that's, that's the outcome. Clay, did you sustain an injury to your left hand during the fight? I'm, I'm, I got bumps and bruises, but I'm ready to fight, man. Uh, I'll be back. Marcin, what was your gameplay going into the fight, and how were you able to compose yourself while facing constant pressure against Nathan? My game plan was to finish the fight in the first or second round. Unfortunately, the game plan doesn't work, but still I'm really happy because I won that fight. Uh, I won that fight in a standing. Uh, I, from the beginning, I feel that uh, my punch uh, are going to the uh, target. So I felt really good. Uh, my cardio was really good. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm really happy because like I said, I think it was the toughest guy from this division and uh, nobody expect that I will win with him. Only me and my team and my family was believing that and I proved that I can do everything. Thank you. Brendan, I want to read you something you said to me last week. I actually think Palmer has got a tough fight with Bubba Jenkins. So let's see if he gets, <coughs> if he even gets through that one first. You've been calling the shots right from the start. Who would you like to fight next? 
Listen, I was 100% right with exactly what I said. <sighs> but I he mean, ain't gonna say me. No, no, but listen, Bubba was <laughs> a better wrestler. But he ain't gonna say me. No, but listen, me and him are gonna be in the final. That's that's exactly what's gonna happen. Let's have it right. Like, me and him put on the best performances. Mm -hmm. But let's have it right. I'm the only person to finish anybody on this whole card tonight. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not only did I finish him, I did it in emphatic fashion. I took out an absolute veteran, a world-class fighter. I went in there and dominated and imposed my will. So that's, yeah, he beat the champion, but he didn't finish him. I went in in emphatic fashion. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's call green, green. <laughs> and last question, Tony, go ahead. All right, last question for Clay. You must have known you were up two rounds. What was your thoughts entering round three? What advice did your corner give you? Oh man, I fight every round like it's the first round. So uh, I'm I'm trying to finish the fight. I mean, it's a point system, right? I was trying to get those points. Um, he's dangerous, 100%. Uh, the guy's dangerous from start to finish. So uh, I I was just going out there and fighting just like in round one. That's what I do. I show up and I fight. Period. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Eagle on the track.